how to create all kinds of abstract shapes using vector shapes in Affinity Photo, PC or Mac, and it's using the equations filter. The key equation is this. Just copy it down. I'll also put it in the description. Obviously it's gonna be easier just to take it from that. Create a shape, any shape, but probably makes it best to work with something that's got a hole in the center. And a key tool for that, cog tool is pretty good, but donut tool. So select the donut tool and create a fairly large design. Now this document's about a thousand by a thousand. Just fill the entire document. And you can go here to Styles. Styles makes it very easy to quickly add all kinds of different effects, maybe gold, metal, etc. Maybe go for that one. Before you apply it, I would suggest rasterize it. Because if you don't do that, and then you apply it later when you go to the equation, it loses some of the design. So go to a layer and rasterize. So here, rasterize, layer and rasterize. Deselect the preserve layer effects. I want to keep this. I want to keep the whole design. So rasterize. And now you can see the design with the effect, etc. all included. Go to filters and distort and equations. And then use that equation that I've just shown earlier. Key thing, coordinate system. Go with polar. No use going with R's and X, whatever. You need polar for the T. So polar, select that, and then radians. And in the R field, copy that equation in. Now the trouble is, it's slightly longer than the equation field. I wish they would allow the ability to drag this out. I am not certain why not, but for some weird reason, you can't. Now you can modify these settings, the thousand, maybe put 2000, put 600, just change them because you might find that size of your document, shape, etc., will be better with different values, 500. And you can change the parameter A, B, and you can see the result just by changing B and changing A and changing C. Now I haven't changed T yet, and you can see the result there. And if I move that around, it creates an interesting design even before I modify the T. And you can go here, T divided by four. And that creates quite an interesting effect. T times four. And that creates even more interesting effect, I think. So you can maybe go seven. So you can create seven there or 10. Doesn't have to be just four or two or 20. So you can create all kinds of mirrored designs very quickly just using this. And you can see as you move it around, just change the radius, the origin point. And of course, as I said, you can just go up here, decide, you know what, I, want, I don't want a thousand, maybe go for 400. And you can see the result slightly different, 200. And that will change it as well. Or maybe go for 4,000 there, and that will change it. Or 14,000, maybe not. But you can change it in all kinds of different ways. Change the A, change the B. And as you do that, you will create a different looking design, different shape, and parameter C. And you can see as you change that. Now you push too far. If you go too far, just get that. Basic zero, it will just expand out for eternity or infinity even. So you can just change that and B. Now try and keep it in the center. You don't have to, but if you don't, it will cut it off, which is not really great. Because if you want to duplicate the design, you don't really want that cut in the design. So let's just go with that. And you could change that. I mean, go with 10. I think that's a nicer design. And change the C again, 
and B, and you can see, create all kinds of unique designs. At some point you think, yes, that's just what I want. Click apply. Now you can also use extend mode down the bottom. You've got full, which creates white from there, repeat, and you've got this, which actually creates a really interesting repeat effect, sort of rippling off to eternity or infinity again. However, mirror is another one, obviously not much different. And you can see as you change it, move it around, it doesn't change it much there. I'm just going to go with the zero. That's what I want. Click apply. I've got my design. I can move it around. I can also, if I decide, well, I don't want the gold anymore. Let's just go for this one. I can just click here. So you can add this effect. Go there. Maybe go for frost or plastic. And you can see you can create a variety of different designs. And of course, these designs can be changed again. You can still go and modify them, apply other effects, all those sort of things. And you've got a few more here. I think that one looks nice. So just go with that one. Well, you've got the effect. We can do, you can rasterize that again. So go to layer and rasterize. And again, it's got an effect. So deselect that, rasterize. And you can then hold down the ultra option key and drag and duplicate that design. And you can repeat that and just fill the design, maybe overlap or maybe not. Just drag it above there, put it there. This one, just drag it up there fill the entire design. So you can create a really beautiful design using that. And you can distort it, or you can resize it. You don't have to keep it the same size. So just make it slightly smaller. Fill that there, hold down the alter option key, and duplicate that. And you can see that sort of design. You can also go back, I'm just gonna go all the way back now. It's just a raster design. So layer, new pattern layer from selection. You can create a pattern layer very quickly using this and move it around. You've got the original as well. You can always go over here to layers. If you don't want to see it, just deselect it like that. Just there. So we've got that, you can modify it. You can also duplicate the pattern. So with that selected, just select that one and you can see then you've got that design as well. And you can resize it, rotate it, move it around, shear it, apply effects. You've got this design. What you can do, you can go back to the equations. Don't have to just use it once. So make sense in the center. That's gonna be the best way. Filters and down to distort and equations. In here, go to polar and then enter that equation again. And there's that equation for the R. And you can see obviously it reduces for the first Default. It's just such a pity that equations does not remember the previous equation. I do not know why they didn't do that. Makes no sense to me. Again, you can go change the A, you can change the B. You see it just goes out quite large there. Reduce that down, again C there. And then you can see you can create another design. You can still rotate it and you've still got this. So T times 10. And then you can see the result there to create another sort of flower-like design. Or maybe T divided by 10. Now the division always creates this line. I don't like that. But still, that's what it is. So T times 4, say. And you can see that lovely design there. And again, you can change these. Don't have to keep the A there. Just maybe... Increase that. Now you can push the C very close to there, maybe the B, and you can see create some very beautiful designs. Nice jewel like designs. You could use that for jewelry. I think that's quite an abstract design that's with again with that 80s gel. Maybe try some of the others as well. Modify the A again. And of course, you can always add additional effects to that. So once you've applied that, click apply. You can see the design there. As before, just go to layer, new pattern layer from selection. You can duplicate it as a pattern layer. And you can see the pattern design there. Hold down the ultra option key and you can create 
all kinds of unique pattern designs very quickly using that lovely jewel-like design, which of course can be filled with other, let's just go back to that design again. So there's the design there. But you can always again, go to the styles, click it again, and you can see the result by just clicking it. Again, you've got the effects there in the layers, or gold. Now sometimes the result, not great, sometimes really beautiful if you combine them. And you can see now you've got this sort of like emboss effect. Very beautiful, I mean that would be just beautiful. That would be a beautiful blue, imagine that's a oh, bracelet, whatever. Not bracelet maybe, but a pendant. And you can see you can resize it. And you of course could try the other ones. Maybe the other ones make even nicer designs. But you've got this design. You can do exactly the same. Again, go over here to the filters. Ah, make sure it's rasterized. That's the key thing. It's quite easy to forget. You need to rasterize it. FX, not so useful. It will fail. So just go to, well, it won't fail. It just doesn't look so nice. So layer and rasterize. Again, deselect this. I wish it would stay. <laughs> That's always, that should be sticky. I'm not certain why it can't be. Hopefully they change that at some point because it should. I always want that to be turned off. Go to filters, down to distort, equations. Enter it again. Again, polar, makes sense, polar. Put the equation in there and it can still be tweaked. It doesn't have to be checked, kept the same. And you can see the design very small there. You can go for maybe mirror and you can see the result there, but let's just change the A, change the B and change the C. But again, just go back to zero and you can see design there. And I think that just looks stunning. And that's just without changing the T, because I'm just going to change the T, put times 10. And now you can see that design. And again, A, just make it a bit bigger. B, just avoid going over the edge. That's the key thing. As soon as you go over the edge, you'll end up with a break in it. There's another, another design. Cheap, thousands of different designs can be created. Beautiful ones you can see now sort of fractal design, it's just repeating, going in and in to create all kinds of fractal fractal designs there. And you might think, you know what, T times 20, or T times four, doesn't have to be 10, so you can change that. Again, you can go over here, make that, instead of a thousand, make it 500, or 1,500, and just see how it changes it. Make that 10,000, makes it even larger. Click apply, and you've got your design there. And you can repeat this indefinitely. So let just go here again, you've got your design, frost, you can click there. Sometimes it just doesn't, doesn't create anything useful. Maybe click there, that doesn't create, and so on. Just try them out. Undo, always can undo in Affinity Photo. And of course, you've got other filters as well, which you can combine. So you can always go to distort and deform or mirror. And then add mirror into this. And you can see the result there. Change input value there. Create all kinds of unique designs again. And this time, of course, with this, just make lovely indents there. Click apply. Well, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to know. Any other things you'd like to see with the equations, please put in the comments as well. That would be great. Just try out these things. Try them out with the styles. Just go there and think, oh, you know, that looks great. That looks great. And so on and so on. So you can create infinite kinds of really beautiful designs. Some not so good. So you can always just undo very quickly. That creates a nice rust effect, that one. Thank you much. Bye.